Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're actually at a little CL here in mid Norfolk. It's called the Walnut Tree Farm. Um, little CL, I think he's actually got six pitches. So we've just had time to set up and I had a little browse in <laughs> the honesty shop. And um, we've had a cup of tea and I also picked up this packet of cookies, which are really quite nice. I'll have another one before Dave gets back because I won't actually get any if not. So just two miles down the road here um, is Green Trees Caravan Store. Um, and Dave's gone for a look to see what kind of deals they've got there. So let's catch up with him now. I'm down here today at Green Tree's Caravan Store in Dereham, in the heart of Norfolk. Probably the largest selection of caravans you'll find from any dealership in the area. And uh, we're going to go inside today, have a little look around and just see what choice they've got. So the thing about Green Tree's is there's always a fantastic choice of caravans and motorhomes. Not so many motorhomes, but a few at the front. Because as you can see, all around here, uh, there's plenty of secondhand vans as well, where people have come along, traded in for new, uh, and then part exchange, of course, their old van, which, um, you know, you'd be able to pick up a deal on a not too old, but used caravan. Now, personally, that's the sort of market for me. I tend to always want to buy almost new, whether it's a car or a caravan, but a great choice. We haven't got time to look at them all today. Let's go and look at one over here though. that's just caught my eye, it's massive. It's the Buccaneer Barracuda. It's a beast of a caravan. It's got luxury written all over it and a price tag of 43,949. Let's find out a bit more about it. So this luxurious four berth caravan, well, it comes in at a whopping 26.10 feet long or 8.18 meters. Width-wise, 2.45 meters, that's eight feet, and you can really notice a difference when you get inside. Unladen weight of this is 1831 kilograms with an MTPLM of 1990, which means you're gonna need a big car to pull this, folks. You know, something like a nice Range Rover or something like that. But you know, you get what you pay for. So the price tag might be at the upper end of what you might be looking for, but look what you get for your money. So the first thing to note is this wonderful L-shaped configuration. I really like it. Maximizes the use of space. And what you've got, of course, then is the opportunity to sprawl out on this great big couch and uh, watch your flat screen TV, which can be mounted on the wall opposite. Big panoramic window at the front, really like that. Again, that'll have the pull down blind here for privacy which is great. And wherever you are in here, plenty of light getting into the place, that's for sure. In terms of the lockers, let's have a little look at those. Very lightweight, which is good because it's a big van, so you've got to try and save weight where you can. Obviously, uh, a radio fits in here. That's your aerial point as well, and your booster for the TV, and uh, what looks like, again, the Truma uh, control panel over here. Another big locker on this side. Again, fairly soft close. I like the way those latches just click in. Uh, open locker here for storage. Put some bits and bobs on. Same on the other side. And then another locker overhead where you can put your TV and plug your aerial and stuff in here. Also with a 12 volt connector and a 13 amp plug. So once you've got your TV connected over here on the wall, all your cabling will be hidden right out of the way. That will come up at the back and plug in there. So no wires hanging around. If you're gonna put a TV on a wall, you don't want wires everywhere, do you? I like these little nifty shelves at the front and there's more power points underneath as well. 
which is great. You could put a little lamp there, some books and stuff, you know. And also you've got the vents there for the Aldi heating system to come around this side. The heating would run all the way around the back of these uh, chairs as well, benches. In all the little air vents there as well. The heating system, the Aldi heating system is just amazing. But uh, look at this, we've got curtains on curtain rods, which is really nice, very smart. And each of the big windows have got those pull down blinds that I mentioned. So if you go all the way down, and then if you want to go fly screen, that's how you do it, folks. You're getting a lot of caravan here for your money, that's for sure. Very, very nice caravan. A really handy little flip up USB charger for two charging points there. Loads of lockers in the kitchen area as well. Here with a little plate rack. It's a double size somewhere to put your mugs, bits and pieces. Plenty of space in these huge double cupboards. And again here, little, there's a little catch under here. That's how it works. So a good size there, You've got lighting overhead. All around, lighting everywhere. Under the sink itself, a drawer with a broken catch, Never mind. But uh, yeah, that's been broken and that's sad. Not a big job to fix it. And there's the bit that's broken off it. And a big pull out drawer there. Lightweight, space underneath there to put your pots and pans in. But another big cupboard on this side, look. Now that is a huge cupboard. Little shelf at the top though. And another pull out there as well. That is the possibly the biggest food cupboard I've ever seen in a touring caravan, really good. So double 13 amp sockets over here, like I mentioned, light switches, lovely, lovely big work top and uh, massive sink here with mixer tap, look at the size of that. So no issue um, preparing food and cooking a meal in here. Uh, and then you've got the dual blinds. That's like the way that work actually, because it all pulls up from the bottom. So if you want to go fly screen, there you go, fly screen. You want to go privacy blind, there's your privacy blind. But if you just want to have your blinds down, the window open, there you go. No no uh, power on at the moment, but I'm pretty sure when this is all illuminated underneath, this sort of lights up, it looks fantastic. Look at the cooker, it looks really nice. Thetford dual energy cooker, three gas and one electric ring there. New style, looks stylish, isn't it? Looks really nice with a stainless steel finish on it. Uh, and again, controls all look really nice with the grill here. Looks like it's not been years, but it's a 2023 model, so maybe it's not. <laughs> but look at this. Pretty sure this must be brand new. This must be brand new. Let's have a look over this side. Good size fridge freezer again, pretty much full length. Yeah, good freezer area. Get plenty of frozen stuff, your ice and what have you in there. And then a very nice fridge. Plenty of space. Like it. Like it a lot. You can feel the quality and the, the extra size. I mean, I'm quite a big guy, but I, an eight foot versus, I don't know, seven feet two, it probably doesn't feel like that's much of a difference, but you really do notice it. As you come in the door on the right hand side, now look at that, that's a proper mirror. I can get right in front of this, look. Hello! <laughs> get right in front of that. A little coat uh, hook here or somewhere to hang your bag or something. Lighting over the mirror. Good sized cupboard down below with a shelf. And a little hideaway there to tuck things away. Again, like bags and stuff. So what have we got going on? The microwave's up here. This is a Russell Hobbs microwave, good quality. Nice height for me, maybe a bit too high for Helen. Right, let's go through. Central shower, look at the size of it. Look how wide this shower is, folks. Handy little uh, area there. If you want to hang wet coats or towels over in the shower, that's absolutely ideal for that. But again, at six foot two, getting a shower in here for me would be no hassle whatsoever. Again, as well, mix the taps, 
even because we're over the wheel arch here, you can, you know, that's handy actually to sort of put your feet up and, and wash your feet and stuff, you know, really quite handy these things. I'm just looking for a light. There's bound to be a light in here somewhere, but I just can't see it at the moment. There's normally a light in a shower, isn't there? Then we've got a spacious toilet with a huge towel rail there, look. A uh, nice sink, very stylish, and uh, cupboards overhead and underneath. Plenty of space to put toiletries in, so good sized toilet. Pull out bed, so it's in its day position at the moment. So you would literally lift this up and pull it like that. Pull the mattress down and then you drop the extra piece in at the back there. And that gives you the night mode. The heating system, which is running around here, look, you can see the grills, it's fantastic. Good size wardrobes, again, love it. This looks like a big box. I've absolutely no idea what's in there. But there's an infill, which I think you'll probably use in the front area if you're making that double bed up. But lighting on here, like as well, it seems like it probably comes on automatically when you open the, the doors which is great. Overhead spots, again with speakers underneath, so you can pipe music through to the bedroom, which is nice. And then over on this wall here, that's where you'll mount your bedroom TV. 13 amp socket, the 12 volt type socket as well. TV connectors here, light switches all round. Double aspect windows, either side, which is nice. Uh, and a couple of drawers, actually three drawers, each side of the bed, which is very uh, ample, I would say. And then in here, the Aldi tank and more of these infills, which I'm sure are for uh, the front double bed when it pulls out. The sort of thing you could store under the bed if you wanted to. Massive, massive sun canopy here as well. And these overhead lockers with plenty of room on them, it's superb. It's a nice van. It's a big van. So you need a big tow vehicle, but you can certainly feel the difference in terms of space when you get into something like this. There's a view back. In terms of bedroom privacy, this is a sliding door. You just unhook that, slide your door across, and then when the toilet door opens here, it will open flush against here. So you've got complete privacy for the shower and toilet. Plenty of skylights around, and the best one of all is over here. Look at the size of that for a skylight. It's just amazing. So I'm sure you'll agree the Buccaneer Barracuda is one luxury caravan. So our second and final view today, the Swift Conqueror 560. Absolutely love this one. Let's step inside, take a closer look at this. Let's take a look at some of the specs. So the Swift Conqueror 560 is a 2022 model, a nice price, 29,495 for birth. It's uh, 7.54 meters or 24 uh, feet nine in length. And it's got a width of seven feet six. That's the same as our Sterling Eccles, 2.28 meters wide. Unladen, uh, it's weighing in at 1558 kilograms. And the MTPLM here, look, is 1714. It's got a 12 month warranty with it. Uh, no mo motor mover fitted to this particular model, but of course you can get one fitted. And there's a bit of detail on the back, but let's go and have a little look around, come on. Now we've got what looks like a really comfortable front uh, lounge seating area here, look. Um, plenty of room for four people to sit comfortably. Uh, I do like the configuration in terms of how these pads are designed look with a nice wide seat for one and then another wide seat there for two very good of course this all converts into a double bed should you need it which is great we use these pull out tabletops you know we play cards we have our meals if you're having a coffee you know people over for a drink absolutely ideal 
pull out drawer there. It's got the whale in it. And then the internal drawer with this as well, which is where the service history book is currently being kept. These are a handy little tool. Lockers underneath. Got some cabling and um, hose in there. Very nice, large and wide uh, sunscreen at the front, which of course, should you need to, you can pull the blind down on that. Front lockers, soft clothes on these as well. And they've got the Sergeant uh, radio system in here, which I think last time we came, we saw those. But yeah, nice soft clothes cupboards. And a little front locker that opens out here as well. Always useful. Little spotlights underneath here with the USB connectors on. That's quite good. Normally get a couple on each side. And you have fly screens just to pull down a fair. Nice and easy though. Or if you want to close off for the night, you've got the full screen there. Or you can go half and half if you want to. These are little lights in the corners here and they look really effective when they're on at night. Uh, you've got a standard sort of 12 volt um, cigarette lighter type socket there and another light switch here. And then over on this side, another 13 amp socket, a couple of USB sockets as well and your TV connector. So if you were to put your television in here, most likely to stand across the front uh, would be the way that's configured at the moment. On this side, they've got like a trio of lockers, really. A little front locker there. And then this has got a split door on it and a separate little cupboard there. And likewise, another one here. Moving to the kitchen area now. And uh, that's where your controller is for your solar panel. So the solar is currently working away nicely. Little racks in there for your cups and mugs and stuff. Dometic microwave right in the center here. And then over on this side, another cupboard where you could keep plates on these racks. Now a lot of people do take these racks out. Uh, we've kept ours in actually, we really quite like them. We find it really useful. Down below, we've got the dual fuel uh, Thetford cooker. Again, not dissimilar to what we've got, a slightly newer version by the look of it. But you've got three gas and an electric hob ring as well. Grill, all looks very clean and new actually, really good condition. And the oven, no problem cooking a full Sunday lunch in the caravan with that thing there. I must say, it's a big, big round circular sink there, stainless steel with the mixer tap. You've got a couple of uh, 13 amp sockets there and a light switch here for the overhead, I would think. Not sure we're connected up to the power at the moment. Big drawer underneath, cutlery on one side, utensils easily fit in the other. And then underneath here, uh, a couple of cupboards. These are good, these are the pullouts where you can put all your tins, all your bits and bobs food wise in there and then more space over here. Pretty full length mirror, albeit narrow here. So for the likes of myself, <laughs> not gonna be able to see too much of me through that mirror, that's for sure. But a couple of handy coat hooks here, look. One and two. Uh, and there's your light switch for the outside awning light. Got the Aldi control system up here and the Swift command sensor as well. I'm not sure we're connected up at the moment. It's like battery and power is off just now. So that's fine. But um, if you're familiar with those, you know how great they are. And these days can all be controlled as well from a smartphone. Big tall fridge with what looks like a good size icebox in here as well. So icebox stroke freezer compartment really you get quite a bit in there. Salad trays at the bottom, plenty of space on the doors as well. And I've got a feeling, yeah, 
so you can open that either way, which is good because when you're over here and you've got a doorway in the center, which is not everyone's cup of tea, but um, some people do like to close the bedroom off, then that two-way door system on the fridge is a really good idea. <laughs> Creaky door, mind you. Oh, there goes Dave. In a mirror you can see him in. There you go. Right, let's have a little look through here then. Right, so what we've got going on is the sort of central washroom area, which is good because if you wanted to, you can close off the bedroom completely. So you've got privacy. Oh, that door's on the latch, so I can't close that one. But that will close both sides. And then you've got privacy all round from the bedroom and indeed from the lounge if you want to come in for a shower. Good full-size shower, as you can see. And no, no hassle with me getting in there. I won't get in, I've got my shoes on. I'm six foot two and I'll have no hassle having a nice shower in there. And the door, which has got a little latch on it here. Lovely, there we go. So nice and easy to open and close the door. And that's a little lock for the shower door there when you're not using it. Mix a tap, nice, nice shower. With one of those heads, like we've got actually in the eldest, it's a water saving head. And you can adjust the flow on this by the look of it as well, I think. Towel rail, somewhere to put some toiletries. Central sink, quite a good size actually, because um, sometimes I, you know, I think I could have a, a good wash and a shave over here without any hassle. I do find in the Sterling Eccles that actually having a shave, I'm pretty much up against the wall banging my head, but not here, that would be quite roomy. And plenty of room here around the toilet area as well. A couple of shelves for more toiletries and a couple of cupboards as well. Puts in, you know, a little medicine cupboard, first aid kit and stuff like that. Another place to hang a towel or a robe. And of course your toilet roll holder there. Let's go have a look at the bedroom. Now, I personally struggle a little bit with the end bedroom because I'm tall and my feet generally would be touching this sort of uh, center board here. But what have we got? Well, you can mount a TV on there. You've got a, a TV um, aerial plug there. Also a 12 volt connection to and your 13 amp socket. So no problem mounting a small TV up there to watch TV in bed. Another good sunlight um, here as well, over the bed, which is great. And then his and hers wardrobes, which look like the same size, so equality at last. <laughs> right, good size wardrobe there, I think. Very deep actually as well, which is brilliant. Another plug socket and light switch at the side, and a couple of bedside uh, drawers, which are soft clothes and uh, little cupboards too. Exactly the same configuration over on the other side as well. Except over on this side, you've got a couple of USB points here as well, so you can charge your phones at night. And another wardrobe here, which has got the table in. We never use that table, we took it out just to save the weight, to be honest with you. So that's what we did. And then over the bed, a couple more lockers, one each side of his and hers situation there, which is good. And the Aldi heating tank was in that particular wardrobe on the other side. So Aldi heating all around, you can see, going around the caravan, a good heating system, really recommend these. Even a little radiator in the toilet as well. Again, we have that in the Eccles. We find it gets totally warm, it's fantastic. So, so no hassle whatsoever. A good sized caravan, if you don't mind the end bed configuration. What we find ourselves is we like the island bed, the transverse bed, because we can distribute weight more evenly over here. Um, this I'm sure will lift up for storage. It does indeed. And there's the carpets there for this caravan. But of course, if you start putting too much stuff under there, then you're gonna have a lot of weight on the back of your caravan. And of course, there's no locker at the back. So I, I suspect there's a couple of reasons for that. One is it's the back of the caravan itself, but also, you know, I wouldn't want to encourage too much weight under the, the bed at the back of the caravan myself like to try and keep it nice and central. So there you go. And a good price at 24.995. So that was a good look around Green Trees. Thoroughly enjoyed that. I, I spent like hours there. I know I've only showed you two caravans, but I did spend ages there and the sales team was so helpful as well. 
So look out for more videos in the future because I think they'll have me back. Uh, we're going to be back uh, next week with a full review from Walnut Tree Farm, which is where we're at now. Yeah. We like it here, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty good actually. It's a nice little CL. If you're into caravanning, right? Um, <laughs> what's wrong with you, miss? If you're into caravanning, um, you don't want to be getting all wet and muddy. This is hard standing, it's full service, it's 16 amp electric, honesty shop. You really like the showers and toilets, don't you? Oh, they're really warm and they're clean, really clean. So, you know, perfect for this time of year, really. These yeah. are the sorts of sites that we were hoping to get onto. So mm -hmm. next Thursday, a full review from here. So just quick shout out to all the new subscribers. Channel's just exploded again. I don't know what's happened, but we're getting a lot of new people on board and we, we love are. that. Yeah, thank you very much. So thanks to all the newbies. Thanks to all the regulars who are there, always supporting week in, week out. We've got to say happy anniversary to somebody. Oh yes, I have. Uh, to Joanne and Chris Waters. Just celebrated 15 years of uh, Married Bliss on the 21st of November. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joanne drops us an email, said, could we give him a shout out? So there Happy you go. anniversary to you both. So like I always say, if you have been, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and please do leave a comment. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye for now.